Welcome. So we've got a full moon in Capricorn coming up early morning hours in U.S. time on July 3rd. So Capricorn Cancer Mansion, what we're working with here and holding is a balance, a deep, deep balance of rest, restoration, deeply honoring and meeting your own needs, your own rhythms, your own inner guidance of that deep self-care, marrying that to this Capricorn energy of creation and doing and achievement and building out in the world. So you can create from that place of wholeness and true joy and inspiration. So we're holding this balance, the mountain goat Capricorn, climbing the mountain, getting to the top, succeeding like Capricorns do. And we're holding that with this deep, deep, deep self-care. But I want to invite you with this full moon to go deeper and to go beyond where you've been before with this balance. Here's why. Venus is squaring Uranus during this full moon. And this Venus-Uranus square may be pointing out to you ways in which what you truly need to receive what your heart truly needs to feel safe, what the depths of you actually needs in order to be taken care of, this Venus Uranus square may be pointing out ways in which what you need might be a bit unconventional or not what everyone else is doing or a bit surprising or not what you thought or like new information coming seeming out of the blue because that's what Uranus does wakes us up with new information that drops in and there it is and suddenly everything changes. So stay open during this full moon to anything that feels like a surprising shift in feelings. Venus in a square with Uranus is about like a shakeup, a waking up to higher consciousness in the heart center. So especially in relation to love, to money, to finances, I'm going to invite you to stay open to surprising out of the blue shifts, feelings, plot twists, the unexpected that wants to come in. Put that together with the energy of this full moon, balancing the Capricorn building and creation energy with the Cancer deep self-care Put that all together and there may be really powerful insight coming through about what's truly serving you and how you can truly, truly show up to meet yourself, to meet your own needs so that you can truly show up doing what you're meant to be doing in the world and allowing that to truly come from the depths, from the most connected place of you. So again, looking out for sudden shifts, surprising feelings or information, especially related to the heart or to the money. And this is all going to be super valuable to pay attention to because we're in Venus's retrograde shadow, which she's going to be retracing. And whatever content, whatever stuff is coming up for you now, this is what you're going to be asked to go into deeper when Venus actually goes retrograde in order to release clear and shift. If you want to join my pop-up group where we're going to go deep into the dive of this journey, I'll drop the links in the comments so you can check that out. But this full moon is all about what you're building and creating and how you're creating the foundations for what you build and create in the most personal, deep ways. Because the moon rules are unconscious and our emotional body, and all of the feeling stuff that makes up what we feel and everything we go through internally. And then Capricorn is that mountain goat steadily climbing the mountain. Again, that energy of building, creating in the world. So all full moons have an element of release to them. I'm going to invite you to be on the lookout for what you're being asked to release that isn't truly serving you in your work, plus a deeper connection to what truly does inspire you and what you're actually here to do. 
There's also a trine with Jupiter going on, which is huge potential for expansion, again, in your work and what you want to do. But is that work truly coming from who you are? Is it truly born out of that deep connection to yourself, that energetic lock that prioritizes your spirit, your inner world, everything that's true about you, your connection to yourself, and allows you to harness that energy of expansion and then grow from there. So allowing whatever shifts, whatever unexpected energy comes in today, tomorrow, allowing that to speak deeply to your soul, to organically fuel the growth, especially through the release of what's not serving you, thinking about how you can deeply care for yourself, and remembering that whatever new threads of energy, of surprising emotion, of feeling shifts, of something feeling different out of the blue, any of that that might come with this full moon, this is all part of Venus's retrograde journey, which we're in the shadow of now, which we'll be revisiting when she turns around. And again, if you want to join me, I'll drop the link for my pop-up group below. So I'm going to invite you to go deep with this full moon. Go deep with what is being asked to release, what energy is being asked to clear. I'm going to be doing a clearing ritual for this in my Venus retrograde group because my sense is that this full moon, even though we've already been in the retrograde shadow, this full moon is really kicking off this whole Venus journey because of this square between Venus and Uranus right now. So there is a beautiful emotional depth that is being awakened, felt, asking you to more fully embody. And I'm going to invite you to drop deep into what is being asked of you here so that you can clear what no longer serves you. That allows you to show up in your highest, creating successfully, clearly building what you're here to build and create in the world. We'll be going deep into this in my group. Join me if you'd like. Happy full moon. Take great care.